Once a review has been created, Swarm provides several mechanisms for collaboration. The Reviews page shows a list of all open reviews in various states, indicated by the icons in this column. We can filter the list based on these icons. Here we can limit to the reviews that have failed or passed automated tests. When choosing one of these, we can see reviews based on their current state. Here we can see reviews that do not or do have reviewers designated. Clicking this icon shows reviews that we have initiated, and here we can limit the view by Swarm Project or Branch. Let's look at Joe Coder's review, number 12376. Clicking on the ID link takes us to the review, where we can view the files and comments. We can expand each file to see the changes between versions, or we can use N as a hotkey to jump to the next change, and P to go back to the previous change. Blue areas indicate lines with modifications, green indicates added information, and red indicates lines that have been removed. Here we can mark a file as being read, which can be helpful if there are many files in a review. When a file is marked as read, the icon colors invert and the file is muted. If a read file is updated in the review, the red flag will be reverted back to unread. While looking at a review, we might run across something that needs to be changed. We can add a comment next to the relevant text, then change the state of the review to Needs Revision to let other reviewers and the author know that the file still needs work. Alternatively, we could get a local copy of the file and modify it as part of the review. Let's have John edit the eBolt Java file. To obtain a local copy, we unshelve it from the change list using the review ID number. In P4V, logged in as John Wakeman, we press Ctrl-G to bring up the GoTo dialog. With Change List selected from the pull-down menu, we enter the review ID number, 12376. Note, the change list we are unshelving from is managed by Swarm, so we do not want to modify it directly in P4V. This is why we unshelve the files into John's own change list. From this dialog, select the file and right-click to select Unshelve. Add it to a new pending change list. Click Unshelve. This new numbered pending change list has the description field pre-populated with information. Unshelving puts the file into a new change list in John's workspace. Let's make a quick edit to the file. Once our changes are complete, we update the existing Swarm review with the new version by shelving the file back to the Swarm review ID. To do so, double-click on the numbered change list. In the description field, add pound review, followed by a dash, then the Swarm review ID number, 12376. Click the Save button. Next, right-click on the change list and select Shelf. Back in Swarm, the new file version is now included in the original review. We can quickly diff the two versions in the review here. We can also diff any two versions of the same file by selecting the versions here. Now, from this drop-down menu, John selects needs review, and enters a comment to notify the other reviewers of the change. Project members and other reviewers receive an email notification and an entry in their activity stream showing the new status. Aruna, a reviewer, can open the review to have a look at the change and vote as desired, or approve and commit the change inside Swarm. Thanks for watching.